Welcome back, everybody, to the Shire. Our, our fun little Lord of the Rings uh, oxygen not included. Only related to Lord of the Rings because we have Frodo, Sam, and Pippin, and others wandering around their little base. <laughs> so in our last episode, we were working on um, getting our primary base area set up, expanding down a water tank, getting some initial power sets up, uh, set up so that we can take advantage of this natural gas geyser, expanding farms, um, and of course, exploration. Why not? You know, so we got tons going on. And um, so what we want to do is continue to, you know, knock all of this stuff out. Looks like we're going to be able to plant a plant. Exciting. Ah, plants. Gotta love them. All right. Um, you know, I mean, there's really nothing as far as a disaster to talk about yet. We're doing pretty good. The opportunities are to increase our food capabilities, uh, which is over here, and to set up our power system, um, which we are busy, busy, busy working on, of course, um, our research items for. Um, so what we need to complete the power systems is, of course, we need to get fossil fuels. Uh, still, we need to get our sound amplifiers for our smart battery, and then we need to go all the way up here to low resistance conductors to get our conductive wire um, going for there. Uh, and then other areas that we can improve, not re quite related, is we could get the refined renovations just for our smoother transport, our air systems, medicines. Um, we will need this right here, the mesh tile floor. Um, to take advantage for the power system set up ultimately. So, you know, hey, lots to research, lots to do. Um, and, you know, looking at our, our colony, we've already got six dupes. We've got Bilbo, Frodo, Goldberry, Mary, Pippin, and Sam. Uh, and so we'll just keep going with them. So let's see what we can get done today. The first thing we need to do is get power to this thing so we can start building up a supply of refined metals. So we've got some stuff on six already um, so that, you know, they will come mine this stuff out, dig it out. The water tank's not important. We can wait. Um, same thing with our outer base walls. We'll get that taken care of as needed. Um, I think the biggest thing to do is probably concentrate on food source. Atmosphere and pressure. Oh, we got chlorine in here. Where are you coming from, chlorine? Must be coming down from over here. Not necessarily a disaster, but it doesn't help us. So I'm thinking that since we do need, we need, of course, better food, um, which we'll need a water source for, but in the meantime, I think we could take advantage of just a quick, simple expansion. of this farm <clears throat> down to there um, and we're gonna have to figure out the air um, so I think an algae terrarium on each side to help the chlorine will sink so eventually the chlorine's gonna go down um, but there's a lot of chlorine up here, but that's why, like, this chlorine's kind of trapped. It's not flowing down, so it's just the remaining chlorine here and here. It'll keep going down, um, so that's fine. We just kind of need to keep it going down, but this will give some little oxygen pieces over here. We've got lots of algae, so we're okay doing that. Let's do that. And then, meantime, we're not producing any oxygen because this thing was dug out but not built, so let's get this built. Why does that say unreachable dick? I have no idea. That doesn't make sense. But anyways, if it's not unreachable, well, obviously they're building it. So we'll go ahead and uh, build that. That way we gotta get our oxygen flowing, and that'll help push stuff out. <clears throat> Got a little chlorine in the base you can see that's come through. Um, that's always the danger of exploration and going into these pockets is that you find things that you don't necessarily want in the base. On the good side, though, um, from, you know, the cleanliness side, you know, 
we have no slime lung in the base. We are in a dangerous area over here eventually when we dig that, dig that out, but uh, we're doing good. Okay, cool. We got our battery up. We're going to have the coal generator in a second. So we'll go ahead and do that. You know, this is kind of advantageous, this water pocket here. Because what it means is that we can actually come into here and none of the natural gas is going to get out and go into the base while we set this up. Uh, of course, slime lung, we'll have to be careful about that, but um, it won't get out either. It'll be contained behind this water. Kind of like a water lock. So that's actually good. So let's let's plan that. <laughs> what we would need to do then is to maintain the water lock is we would want to come up here and dig that out uh, once we have the capability. <laughs> uh, and then we could create our um, our ladder going down over there. We'll also trying to think. We want this big enough to where this vent can really fill this up and power it up, but we want to suck the gases out as well. Um, but we'll, we'll put a ladder over here too. <clears throat> and we don't have the insulation tile yet, so we won't do anything with it, but we'll just kind of plan it. They can't come in here anyways, but um, this is a advantageous uh, because we could take out all of that and then put a wall up here that goes up here. We won't need to do anything with this as far as a wall. That's fine. It's heat resistant. Put a flooring tile here. And then put our pump and stuff in here. And That's really good. I, that is good placement. I am happy. Alright, um, so of course this thing's going to run all the time. So the, we're going to just put this on forever. We're going to do a 7. We're going to knock out as much of this as possible to just really power through getting um, getting resources. And we'll go ahead and we'll dig out some, uh, some of this copper as well uh, so that we can refine it close by. Cool. Unfortunately, this is going to waste a lot of coal, um, but we can set it to where the fuel requirement, they will only fill it when it reaches zero. So it has to burn all the way through it before they refill it and waste more energy. Because like right now, we're wasting energy. What we can do, though, is we can take advantage of it. And on a 7, since we're burning energy, we can get this up into the base and just connect it. And make that a priority 7 for them just to build that. That way... If this isn't being used and this thing's burning, since we have no automation yet, um, the energy won't be wasted. It'll, st it'll still come up here and power all this stuff. Meanwhile, we got some skills. Goldberry, all right. So Goldberry can get us the next level of digging. We're gonna do it. She loves digging. Go Goldberry, woohoo! All right, and then research. So our most important research to set up is the ability to get towards setting up our, our, our power system. So we're going to go here. We're going to get the mesh tile and all of our water stuff because that will also give us the ability to create the, the newer farms. Awesome. I love how the dupes get so excited over the simple stuff. <laughs> All right, I also want to make sure... Yeah, these are already a six. Okay, cool. I'll get a directlet here. Awesome. My plan is to do this colony, the Shire, much better than my other series. Obviously, if you're watching both, you can see all the hardships and fun that we're going through in our other series. It's different. It's on a great big asteroid to begin with, <clears throat> whereas this one is a small asteroid to begin. Um, so there are differences in our approach, but uh, this is going to be fun to see which colony will be more successful in the long run. This one's just getting started, so it's like, ah, piece of cake. You know, everything's good here. <laughs> whereas the other one is like disaster. Um, can we reach this? No, we can't. So let's just do this. 
right there. That way they can just reach that. <clears throat> Dig, build, construct. Continue grinding out refined copper. That'll help us with all of our wiring in the future. Get us prepared. All right, cool. This will set this up. Now all we have to do is build that wire. You can do it, little dupes. No pressure. Yay! All right, so this is all on a power system. We can reduce that down to a five. They won't need to spin the wheel anymore. Um, and we're not wasting this coal generation. It'll constantly be used either for our research or pounding out um, ore and, of course, our oxygen production. Um, I don't think we need this one up and running yet. This one's doing fine. We're going to keep it where it is. Good, we got our first level of research. This is good. Uh, we'll be able to get oxygen purification systems, you name it, all kinds of stuff. Do we have any gold yet? No, okay. Once we get gold, we'll put a pump down here to start planning this out. Meanwhile, we'll just let these guys go. Uh, we can dig into here, but we don't have the technology to do anything yet, so we'll just leave that where it is, and if they get to it, great. Um, and we'll eventually get there, because I do want to put a gold gas pump in there. So we need some gold. Well, we're going to get gold once we get in here, like these three right here. Um, I would say we could mine these out, but I don't want a chance mixing our, our gases. So we'll leave it where it is. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Uh, do we have more planters we can plant? Nope, but they're working on it. Starvation? What do you mean? We got 23,000. I like how they, they... It's usually they're on the toilet and they complain about starvation. Is it because they're emptying their bowels? Is that what causes it, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of funny, though. We might as well go ahead and... dig that area out. Uh, as well as this, so that we can get that vent free. Um, and that so that we can get we'll go all the way over there so we can get that vent so everything's flowing down right um, and then of course we can slowly start working on on these like if we just dig these little areas out here um, they'll start working on the inner wall there's no hurry on any of this stuff there really isn't um, but it'll just slowly, you know, finish up the base and get us more towards, you know, a, a completed base. So we might as well just do it. All right, we finished our second level research. So we've got these. So we're, I think, hmm, we don't have, what do we, do we want to go for oxygen purification and water first? Which we would need these, and then down here. Um, we already got this one. We might as well. We'll go here. This will get us the ability to put in a oxygen recycling system right here at the bottom, so that everything comes down, flows into, flows out of the base. We can just sequester the carbon, um, and we'll need it anyways because eventually this. Power system from here is going to generate carbon dioxide. And while we can easily bust through and put it out into space, which we probably will do, we can also go ahead and turn it into oxygen. So, might as well. Alright, new dupes. Uh, well, skills are fine, but let's do the dupe first. Okay, so we can get fertilizer. We can get a binge eater who has excavation and science, um, but is allergic, so no. <clears throat> allergic, no, so we can't get piloting, and we don't need it yet anyways. And then we can get excavation and piloting over here with creativity and a decor morale bonus and increased agriculture. Any miny mo. Do I want the fertilizer? Or do I want Ruby here? If I take Ruby, what do I name her? <laughs> um, 
that's a great question. Uh, I mean, we don't need the fertilizer. Technically, having an extra dupe would be okay. Um, but at the same time, you know, are we really ready for it? Um, do we do we want to, do we want to risk more dupes? I know I'm delaying because I'm trying to think of a name if I take her. Uh, it's it's harder to find female names in Lord of the Rings than it is um, male names. <laughs> But, you know, um, let's go ahead and do it. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do... Um, do we want to stick to hobbits? Or, no, no, we won't stick to hobbits. That, that would be silly. So we're going to do uh, Eowyn. Uh, let me see. It's Y. I know there's like the Ancent E sign symbol, but I'm not going to deal with that. And I don't even know if it's in the game technically. <clears throat> so Ruby, congratulations. Uh, you are now Ewan and you're gonna come into our our world. So uh, be happy. Ta-da! <laughs> and now we can get our skill. Um, and so you like digging and uh, rocketry for later. That's great. We'll give you digging, you know. Everybody needs digging anyways. Um, meanwhile, Mary, we can also give digging. And Sam's already got digging. He's our cook. Um, he's also our artist. Do, do, do. Yeah. It's either carrying or super hard. We got one super hard digger already. Let's just give you carrying for now so that, you know, since you're carrying the food supplies back and forth, probably, um, you know, it'll help speed that up. Meanwhile, we can start. They're, they're getting the farm going. Good. Awesome. And we are pounding that button. Go. Pound, Pippin. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, that's what I need is I need some exercise machine like that so that I can. Stay in shape. <laughs> uh, do we have any clay? Not yet. Uh, we can get a little refined carbon, so let's go ahead and just start that up as well. We won't need it till later in the game, but it's good if you can start early and build up a, a supply. So, okay, cool. Oh, we got another skill already. How about that? And it is Bilbo. Bilbo, we're going to give you improved carrying as well, so that uh, as you're moving about the base and supplying things, you can do a better job of it. So the only plants we have are briar seeds. All right, well, we'll plant the briar seed. That's okay. All right. Oh, got another one. Let's go ahead and plant. Very good, very good. Start with six yeses. Cool. All right, well, let's keep it going. Um... I guess we can do a little planning. We need a place to put dirty elements. So we're gonna stick a uh, storage bin down here. Two of them. So that eventually we can empty this uh, any polluted dirt, slime, that kind of stuff. We're gonna end up with slime from in here. We might as well pick it up. We'll wanna clean this up before we empty it out. Um, and then, of course, we need a polluted water tank. This is a regular water tank. I mean, we're not going to get to build this for quite some time, but um, we might as well put in a polluted water tank, and it's going to be down here because our power system, using mesh tiles, is going to be down here, and it's going to have um, polluted water. Um, so technically, it's we can't build a lot of it, but it'll be down here. Yep. So the power system's gonna come into here. Um, water's gonna drip down polluted water. Uh, so this won't be a huge, huge tank. We'll build a bigger tank elsewhere. But we can dig this out. Uh, and eventually we'll drain this water out as well, too, so let's do that. Uh, that does mean we can go ahead... Oh, we don't need it on sevens. You know, we 
can ho go ahead and dig down. Um, let's just do priority fives. Don't worry, little hobbitses. Hobbitses and elveses. We don't need to panic yet and do that. And eventually we can put a pump and we can recycle that, so that's okay. But uh, we might as well. We got our water down here, so this digging down here plus books for a little bit more. How are we doing up here? Did we find anything else? Not yet. So I guess we need to do a little more exploration in places. Um, so we can come over here to the edge. Um, can't go much further this direction right here, but eventually we can come into here and do stuff. Um, the other side, we've got exploration planned. It's just a matter of getting over here. Okay. And we'll have to get something to go through that, but once we're down here, we could go ahead and knock through this. Um, so that way we can go down. Why not? And do more exploration that direction. Cool. All right. Well, this has been a great episode. We've got our power system online. We have already started working through uh, refined copper. In fact, if we were to look at it, we've already got 650 kilograms of refined copper to use for our better power systems. Uh, we've added a new dupe, Ewan, and we've expanded more in the base. Um, so really good. We've got more dupes than we have beds, though. Um, so let's get these these done and seal up this room so that it counts as a room. Why is everybody saying starvation? There's no starvation around here. Stop panicking. <laughs> ah, and we got more stuff to plant. Won't grow much simply because uh, there's a bunch of chlorine down here, but we'll get there. We'll get there. It doesn't like... Can this stuff grow in chlorine? Food? No, it, it cannot. So we'll have to do something with this chlorine, but if we could push it out with all this oxygen generation um, from the algae terrariums, then we should be okay. We should be able to push the chlorine out. We might, in fact, just preemptively do this so the chlorine can and go down. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, excellent. Well, thank you for joining me today on uh, this episode of The Shire, and I shall see you in the next one where we're going to continue preparing for our advanced power system for the hydrogen vent down here and just moving towards completing this base out and getting it set up so we have a solid point of operations and then start building out uh, work areas and farm areas and stuff outside of the primary base. So, see you then, everybody.